What is a yurt? What is a yurt? Um, yurts are a round, portable, fabric-covered structure that originated in Central Asia. Think of Genghis Khan. He rolled around in yurts. Uh, nobody really knows how far back they go, but thousands of years. Uh, and man, they have come a long way. People think of yurts as, as a tent, and you know, technically speaking, it is a tent, but you've never been in a tent like this. I mean, we're talking French doors, glass windows, R value insulation, fully certified engineering, you know, easy to get 1,800 square feet under one tent roof with a 40 foot yurt. Compared to a traditional house, I think that a yurt can be way more versatile, and there is nothing that makes them weaker than a traditional house. If you think about it, it's all the strongest shapes in nature. You've got circles working together into a cylinder, which is made up of a lattice work, which is a reflection of triangles, into a conical roof, which are triangles coming from one circle into another circle, which is the compression hub. Engineering-wise and mathematically-wise, it's really an elegant solution to live in and incredibly strong. Modern day yurts uh, used in a wide variety of purposes. Um, definitely people live in them full time. We also uh, do probably about half of our business with people who are going to be using them on a commercial level. Think summer camps, think retreat centers, think you know meditation centers, think backyard guest spaces, all these things, kids playhouses. I mean, yep. there's a variety of uses for the yurt. I, I think a lot of a yurt can be considered almost an open pallet. Like you walk into a house, it's like, the fridge goes there, the TV goes there, so, you know you know where this stuff is. Well, you walk into a yurt and it's like, well, you know, go ahead. It's, it's your own space and there's no set way to do things. When we get out in the field and we're actually able to go and do some setups, I, I always watch people out of the corner of my eye when they come in, once it's set up and almost to a T, the first word out of everybody's mouth is, wow, when they walk in there, you know. And that's it's really neat for us because you know, we're in here building all the time. It's, it's nice to get out really actually see the effect that it has on people entering this space. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the wow factor in a yurt is huge. There's something about the energy of a yurt and the way that it just feels inside. There's the round space, it's vaulted, it's open. There's this real sense of calm and beauty that's in a yurt that even in a vaulted cathedral ceiling of a house or a church or some, some other grand type of open ceiling structure, you don't really get. There's something, I can't even put my finger on it. They're grandiose and humble almost at the same time, these structures, I think, which is... Mm -hmm. So, bottom line with a yurt, it's really hard to put your finger on exactly how it feels. Um, I mean, we can sit here and say it's a unique and beautiful structure. Until you really go into one and, and see what one is like firsthand, you're not going to know. And that's why people always say, wow, when they finally get into one, because it, they are amazing. The best thing you can do is find one in your area and get in it and feel what it's like in a yurt. The other option is uh, no matter how far away you are, you should come to Missoula and see us at Shelter Designs and check out our display models and see what we do and meet us in person. We love having visitors here and Missoula is a great town, so come visit.